Hello guys, welcome back again. This is the continuation of Socket's application. Um, basically this is the synchronous s s server socket. So we've actually created um, the client aspect on the, on the previous video. That's what we've got on the screen now. So the next bit obviously is to add a new project to, to our solution. Of course, that is um, also a, um, a console application. So we add a new .NET console application. And we can just call it we can say socket server sockets dot server. So as you can see, this is what we've got. So for um, I mean for the start, so we add first a class, we call it a public class. Of course, it's a nested one. So we can say um, sync server socket. First bit, of course, is a public static. static uh, string and of course we name it a data we set that to null then we add a new method it's a public static void this will be start the listener So this is what we've got. We, we can put our bytes array as bytes. And we can initialize it to 1024. Then we can get the DNS data IP host entry. This will be an IP host. We say DNS dot get host entry DNS dot get host name. So IP address. Dot IP host dot address list we take the first element then IP endpoint so as you can see it, it looks pretty much the same as what we started with a local endpoint so we start a new IP endpoint so we add an we add our IP address and of course, um, a port. So we just add any, any port. So there's an error showing here. So as you can see the error is gone. And the next bit of course is to is to create our listener. So we add a new socket. Um, socket So have our socket here. So we can call it just a listener. So this will be a new socket, of course. Then we pass in the, the usual details, IP address. 
dot address family and we add a socket dot stream socket type stream and then the, uh, it's a protocol dot tcp so as you can see we set our listener now so our listener we set it to listen so we add a backlog we just put the value of 10 and then the next bit of course so we say while true we say console the right line waiting for a connection and we can say socket socket handler this will be listener dot asset Then we can say our data is equal to no then inside here again while true you can say int byte receive is equal to handler dot receive and we can say our data so we add it to we set that encoding that AC that get string so we pass our bytes zero buffer and the byte received Then we can say if if data dot index of is greater than minus one we break so as you can see they are pretty simple stuff so after that the while loop after the, the this while loop here we write something to the console we say console the right line test received so we can say we can just pass in the test as the data so we can say by Array message msg is equal to encoding dot ac dot get bytes pass the data and we can say handler
okay so actually this one should be inside um, a while loop and we can say a handler that send msg handler dot shut down socket shut down both and we can say handler dot close and we catch the last exception of course so okay so before we go ahead we go on what we do is we we copy this while loop remove it and then after that I mean just before the listener dot listen we put in listener dot bind uh, we pass in a local endpoint so here what we do is we put a try here then I just paste what I've just um, copied and then what we do is we copy this again we put it inside the try we move it put it just before the So we put it here, then of course we actually handle the exception, remove it, the throw here. Then one last bit of course is uh, after the cache and everything we get we look for that this method okay so this is the method we're looking for the static and then we can say console dot reline console dot reline press any key to as a program as you can see they are pretty simple stuff so the next bit of course is we go to the things we go to the the main then we can say console the right line press any key I'll press enter to continue. Press order red line. And we can say sync server socket that start listener. Then we can say console that red line can see this all pretty straightforward the next bit of course is to start both projects so we go to the startup project and we add a multiple startup so of course we we start both projects we apply and boom there we go so once you actually run it you'll be prompted by um, windows i mean obviously the firewall to allow assets so basically you do that okay so i mean uh, there's one there's one mis um one thing that we have to do um is go to the, the this is uh where we are this is the listener right so in the here what we have is um this port number we actually use the same port number here 
I'll run it again I'll pause and run it to see okay so now I'm just gonna start running again remove I'm gonna put both this is the client I mean this is the server and this is the client so as you can see we've got both of them started and first of all we press enter to start the socket server as you can see it started and waiting for a connection go ahead and press enter so as you can see it was socket connected and echoed it this is TIS is just a test blah 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 so as you can see the test is received by the server and actually echoed it here so this is this is how we can actually achieve an achieve a, a very simple synchronous socket so as you can see we've got both the client and the server just doing all the, the I mean the transaction so the next part is obviously we will actually look at um, um, asynchronous socket so if you're still here please make sure you subscribe to the channel and catch up later on the next video bye bye and have a lovely day